have a new commission for us. That's correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The Magnificent Irodori Festival. Yay! A festival! Oh, come to think of it, we haven't attended a festival in Inazuma for a while! The Yashiro Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help is none other than Lady Yai herself. Oh boy. <laughs> you know Miko! She always has some unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival planned by her is gonna be one to remember! We'd better go to Grand Narukami Shrine and see what she needs us to do. Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanamizaka, so there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, well that's convenient enough. Let's go then! Tani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Epekusu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? <sighs> Ahem. Onodera? Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right, then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop, chop! Ah, hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <sighs> if so, then you can forget it! Paimon won't accept such a commission! My, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival, yet you say I'm not doing my job. Let me ask you, little ones, whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? Huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma, after all. Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change tooth and nail. Therefore, rather than sticking to the same old traditional festival, the Yashiro Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little. This time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival, distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. Cultural. 
I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. <clears throat> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the Five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. Indeed. To describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival. Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... Holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> but, wait a minute! Light novels?! Oh boy, this can only end poorly. Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Speaking of which, don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all Tavat through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Then leave Errol self-justification, huh? Whoa, that was close! Paimon was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue! Come on, Miko! You can't fool us! We know you by now! This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest! <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right, Paimon's super curious now. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release parties. This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kassen Plaza during the festival and nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Wow. Um, how should Paimon put this? Uh, it's definitely not your typical festival, but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. Yeah, except for the light novels. Huh. Uh, Miko, what are these blank boards in the center of the plaza? Yes. Those are... Ah, 
Lady, I did mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. At last we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? Oh, it's Ayato! Wow, so even a busy guy like yourself is here to attend the Iridori Festival! Preparing festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. This Iridori Festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree, it is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. The Ashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable. Which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tivat to serve as a guide for our guests. Eh, alright. I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association, while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. Oh boy. Hmm, it's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. This festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission, and there are still many minor details which require my attention, so I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. All the details we need about the ships are on the timetable that Ayato gave us. <sighs> Let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. That's right. We are bards from Mondstadt. Word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. What are you doing? These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tongaf Bard then? Huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? Eh, 
If there's alcohol involved, he'll show up. Huh? Why is that? Yeah. Oh, Paimon sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an Archon. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him, too. <sighs> Mr. Honorary Knight! Paimon! It's Kai! Were you also invited to the Iridori Festival? <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. But, because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. Ha! Paimon knew it! Albedo's the one they've invited to paint the five coffin! It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma, Calx. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Let's get going then. Please be careful not to bump into others. <sighs> Telling Klee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Hmm. Just hope she, uh, hears herself when she meets you on Mia. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be a problem. He? Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? I only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly as long as I'm inspired. So I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow? And you're already running out of time! There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Uh, Paimon isn't sure if she should feel sympathetic for your working conditions or compliment you on your artistic genius. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance, so that I can be better prepared. Speaking of which, Miku did mention... Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days! Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too! 
We'll take you over there to see if we can find him, Albedo. All right, it's worth a try. <clears throat> Klee, you haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Even with the emergency prints, it still might not be enough. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. Hey. Do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, Traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing, just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Um, uh, Mr. Hiriyama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kassen for the festival? Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kassen. I do apologize, but please, make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. You guys look super busy, so we can go find them ourselves. Uh, well, uh, about that. Excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legend of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Well, uh... Uh, I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Chen Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Because of the dire situation, Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. And would be a great misfortune if A Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule. And quite a disappointment for Chen Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Chen Yu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Ching Cho's big name? Oh, do you know him? Uh, we met a couple occasions. Shincho would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse, too. To It 
It's you! Why are you here? I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you! So, Tone Death Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... indeed me. As I have told you, you are a suspect. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? Yes. Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. And just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the Sailing Breeze. Is he drunk? If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. Oh, Fenty! You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Similar means? Pirates. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not, for the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally, right? But why weren't you on the same ship as the other birds? Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuma sake. And when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse, with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from atop the grate. <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable. But it still feels a bit... Shameless. Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the IA Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Hmm? But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh... I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, Whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... And one criminal evolved. I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. 
If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Not so fast. Even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. Sir is quite the meticulous one. So, where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. If you were holding the invitation in your hand the whole time, then why did you put it down? Well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuma sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. I couldn't both hold the invitation and a glass at the same time. <laughs> but surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? Huh? You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? His hat. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. Hmm. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. There goes Sara. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Hirayama about Albedo's reference materials. Mr. Hirayama, I'm Calx. We had originally arranged to meet today. Ah, yes, so you are, Calx. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. These are the materials regarding the five Kassen. All the information that we could find is compiled here. Damn. Oh, let's see here. Yes, it's just as I had suspected. Monikers such as Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the Five Kasen. Though there were once many stories regarding each of the Five Kasen, the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. But, at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style, so there is still something we may glean from this. So, is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and, uh, fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. I am sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the Five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart, and create something that you yourself find interesting. That does sound like something Miko would say. Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. 
Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yaya Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. I get it. Uh, you have my gratitude. I'll be going then. Well, seems there's nothing more we can do here. Let's go! Huh? Venti? What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. What is it, Venti? A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday! Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. Interesting, isn't it? Yep. Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But... why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Oh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off! No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute! What about your portrait? As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now... It seems I've found my source of inspiration. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. You really came through, Albedo. You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. Yeah. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it hearken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Hey! Don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard! You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? 
I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the five Kassen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kassen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuronushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. about the stolen novel. visiting from Liyue to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you onto the island! Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, Master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh, speaking of which, where's the young Master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... Whoa, Sincho's just sitting there, sound asleep. Uh-huh. What? Oh. Uh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Yep. Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Kanjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Huh? That's odd. What? There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Oh, let Paimon have a look! There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh, yeah! In the warehouse down by the... Ahem. Uh, by the... The Poem Hunt competition! <laughs> yeah, that's it! A 
friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kassen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Wait a moment. So you mean that... He's on to us. Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that. There is a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. You could say that. Really? That's wonderful. I knew that Calx would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shinkyo. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Ah, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Kalx's beautiful illustrations. Kalx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my! I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart. Quickly now. <sighs> Luckily, the idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingcho. And you may call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Real eye-opener. Uh um, you guys... It's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, then he found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, I understand the story now. Thank you, it's very helpful. Splendid. Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Uh, 
Well, about that. Do you have other plans, Shinjo? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! Paimon thinks we acted well together. Oh, did we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Eh, she, he's a little suspicious. Huh? Shinjo's suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? Paimon, you read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Shinjo on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shincho himself? No way! That can't be right! Shincho only arrived in Inazuma this morning! And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shincho had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. Are you saying that Shinto has already been in Inazuma for some time, and that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shinto be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinkcho in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinkcho be in danger? It's difficult to say at this point, but given that Uyu Restaurant is indoors, it'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Got it. Good. Then let's head to Uyu Restaurant. <laughs> 